Yo, what's going on everyone? I am back with a vengeance. <clears throat> Pardon me. Need a little bit of um boomer juice to ah, freshen my throat. So yeah, Ultima Underworld. Episode two of the restarted playthrough where the game plan is quite simple. We have to make it back to where I left off before um, I was locked out of progress due to my safe house being corrupted. And uh, we can move on from there. So according to my estimates, we got a good chance of not only getting back to that um, point on time, but also actually seeing some new areas tonight. So let's get everything ready up. We've got our cool gamer layout. And I know what you're expecting at the bottom right. But no, uh, we're gonna give Kermit a bit of rest. And instead, a certain other green guy she'll be taking his slot but my wage he's just there <laughs> chilling in the background watching the playthrough with due interest hmm, I wish I could actually check which save uh, was left at which time mark that's a uh, that was a bit of a helpful um, change in the unity version however thankfully this is indeed level 3 which is exactly where we need to uh, be exploring now so far we've learned from our exploits in the Abyss that we got two warring goblin tribes at level 1 a human outpost while level 2 is mostly the mountain men slash dwarves however you want to call them stout bearded folk you know now level 3 on the flip side is where things get a little more interesting in terms of the inhabitants dwelling here. I'm gonna take care of this swap room first. We might try to run away, but there is no escape. From the avatar. Ooh. Well, 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 look at all this uh, mighty hand gear that some unfortunate adventurer left behind. The dank, malodorous stench of this underground swamp invades your revolted nostrils. You recall from the wave of defeated odor. So we probably don't want to step inside the water, if that can be helped. Otherwise, uh, no amount of soap nor um, other cleaning products are gonna wash away that stench. So this kind of proves that the ecosystem of the abyss is more vast than you expect. Sure, it might be a set of dungeons which goes deeper and deeper, but that doesn't mean it's monotonous in terms of layout and what you actually find here. And that's gonna also be reflected by um, the dwellers. It's a lurker. We already met those. They may look like a friendly froggy on surface, but once you see those tentacles, oh boy. That's some Eldritch horror material. Come here. Come 
I'm just gonna play a casual game of tag, him and I. Until he decides to fuck off, because no health. Get dunked on. I'm gonna have to rest soon, because my mana just completely ran out. It also is kinda mandatory at this point to be having a light source of any kind, because um, even a basic candle really provide some sort of illumination. Yo, what's up, Brennan? It's funny that you're posting uh, Kako Garth because happy birthday, Jim Davis, the man, the legend, turned um, 78 years old today. So feel free to spam those Kako Garths in chat in celebration of a legend. I mean, who else would it be? Celebrating otherwise. Heathcliff? I mean, there's some Heathcliff stands. We're not gonna name those. But you know who you are. Excellent leather gloves. Badly worn chain gauntlets. Um, I was considering immediately moving to the gauntlets, but. Hmm. I think I'm gonna go with durability rather than. Uh, Immediate uh, improvement of armor. Um, I need to check this bag somehow. So I'm gonna try and put it. Oh, of course, it's too heavy. Um, right, uh, you go down here for a while. And I inspect the contents. It is a hefty supply of food, which is good. We like food. Nothing like a bit of um, flour bread and corn. Makes you wonder how they actually get the corn down here. <laughs> Have they brought it back from the surface? Or do they use the bog water to fertilize some makeshift uh, cornfield? In which case, oh boy. That does not sound appetizing in the slightest. Hey, buddy. <laughs> the moment I pull out the sword, he just shifts away. Bonk. Yo, happy belated birthday. How does it feel to be almost 40? Soon that midlife crisis is gonna hit you like a truck. Um... So here comes the fun part where I actually have to make some decisions. I wanna wanna wander around with me. Oh brother. Ugh. I might actually need this stick. Because as we determined, that's mandatory for some puzzles where you have a switch that's just out of reach. And you cannot possibly uh, activate it otherwise. Alright. We're gonna leave these potions, because Unless you identify them, there's no way you're gonna know what to um, do with them. Uh, still not enough. Uh, all right, let's rest up in that case. We're hungry, but that's no problem because we've got plenty of food. We are fed. Have some chicken too. Currently full and wide awake. Excellent. Now uh, let's get a light spell prepared. One of the easiest incantations to remember. I mean, it's just two rune stones, so not. Too complex, even for the smallest brains. Also, kinda comes to show that if you have, like, 
the bare minimum of uh, magical proficiency, you can at the very least uh, cast the most rudimentary of spells in this universe. Uh, what is this scroll here? Might be a useful hint of some kind, or a spell. Actually, this might be a, um, in lore scroll. So just another light. I think I'm gonna save that. Just in case uh, my current charge runs out. Ooh. Hello, Rotworm. <laughs> Goodbye, Rotworm. I have no use for your corpse any longer, because we do in fact have soup on us. And by the time we get to where we're supposed to deploy the soup, it's gonna go bad. Cold and um, extra murky, which uh, in the case of Rotworm Stew, yeah, I mean, it's already kind of the opposite of appetizing. Pull the lever. Come on. So as you can see by the steam, this is indeed close to a swamp biome, as you'd see on the surface. So, who on earth would take it upon themselves to um, build a settlement down here? A race that actually likes this kind of climate. Someone who um, thrives upon uh, s warm, stuffy air and uh, lots of moisture. I'm being very cryptic, but we'll meet them soon enough. Hey, uh, at least I'm not as a... Uh, as confusing as uh, the game's um, guidelines on how to progress. I seem to be taking way more um, equipment-based damage than I did in the um, in the exporter build, which uh, comes to show that this is indeed uh, playing the game for realsies on the <laughs> Ultima Underworld portable. Well, minus the fact that we got mouse lock. If I were to play this with tank controls, that'd be a uh, that's where the real fun begins. Open the door. Come on. Gotta make sure you get that uh, icon marked correctly. Ah. So we're down to the southmost from what I remember. Uh, not quite. We still have a little bit of way around, but this right here is where we're gonna be heading off soon enough. The main centerpiece, where the um, outpost is located. This is a simpler puzzle than you might expect. You know, gets the uh, button combination to open this door. You do get a hint over here on this uh, inconspicuous plaque. Left, right, center. And boom. And this is a two way system. 
in case you want to shut the door. Rats. We are the rats. But they're not here to celebrate the great Jim Davis birthday bash, you know. I mean, granted. Vermin and uh, felines don't really get along. Although, um, in Garfield, they do, uh, kinda cooperate sometimes. Cartoon animal logic for the win. Now, this fellow right here is a bandit. Halt. Who approaches? It is merely I, Avatar. What does thou seek, Avatar? Now, you have to be careful of which response you pick. Because uh, this NPC right here shows that um, your decisions really matter on uh, the outcome of the conversation. So we actually want to avoid um, the greedy prompt. I seek the parent's daughter. Of this I know nothing. Begun with thee. We still wish to exchange items? I do not. Now leave before I run thee through. Sorry to have hurt thee so. I should take my leave now. So, um, yeah, we could um, just pick their asses. However, it's apparently more beneficial if you just leave these guys alone for now. Which, uh, you know, I may have consulted a guide <laughs> as to the most uh, optimal way of progressing through the game. B believe me, uh, even though Ultima Underworld does give you some clues on the vital quests that you have to go through, some of this shit is just so baffling and completely unintuitive to what you think to do. You'd be running around in circles, back and forth, which, um, you know, it's not very far away from typical 90s video game philosophy. And lo and behold, the lizard men. Pika, sort of click. What? Tosa, tit, epa urgo, fit, epa, sifari. I do not understand. Goodbye. So these cold blooded gentlemen, they speak their own language, which we do not understand. However, he gave us two names to work with. The fellow called Urgo, we are going to meet right now. He um he did a little bit of a boo-boo and is currently locked up. So uh, let's have a chat with him. Prisoner, he points to his mouth and shakes his head. Art thou hungry? He nods, but looks agitated. He makes a talking motion with his hand next to his mouth, then shakes his head no. Oh, thou art mute and hungry. He nods his head unhappily. Now, we are indeed a kind soul, so... Here, easily digestible and fulfilling carbs. He gobbles it down as though he hasn't eaten weeks. What is thy name? His eyes light up, and with great effort, he grunts out something that sounds like Urugu. I have it, thy name is... Urugu. He shakes his head sadly, he seems to give up on name guessing. He mimes being in a cage. I mean, that's what the lizard man said. And you yourself also kinda gave out, unless uh, we're missing an extra character here. Uh, art thou a prisoner here? He nods sadly, then performs a complicated series of charades that seem to indicate that he is innocent. 
He mimes viciously as a man, grabbing a white-eyed victim and laughing heartily as they fling him in his cell. He implores you by gestures to speak to the lizardman and get him released. I'm sorry, but I don't understand their language. He gestures at himself and the king that he understands the tongue of the lizardman. Further, he makes signs that seem to say the lizardman understands your speech, but cannot pronounce human talk themselves. Very well, if thou wishes to teach me lizard tongue, I will try. Uh, this right here is so far one of my favorite um, bits in Ultima Underworld. So this little quest line involves you talking to the lizardmen, taking notes as they talk, basically jotting down each individual word, which you can later feed to this guy, and uh, he will provide you with a translation. So it all boils down to making a uh, portable lizardman lexicon. And just uh, figuring out what the heck is going on here. So I'm gonna open up a notepad. I may have lost um, the one I made previously. So, you know, fresh start. But this time I'm actually gonna try and do this um, more proficiently. In the sense that I'm gonna type out as much as I can from talking to one lizard guy, and then we'll translate in bulk. Very well, if thou wishes to teach me lizard tongue, I will try. He indicates that you must supply a word, and he will translate it for you. What does Seth mean? He knows his set, yes. In case for you to try again. How about click? He shakes his head, no. So we're gonna get some basics to uh, work with. Seth, yes, click, no. Very well, I'll be back later. Hello, my guy. Ah, Seafari, so the other name that the red lizardman provided us. What kind of significance do you hold here? Pika, circlic. Uh, Pika? It's safe to assume that it means hello. So, some of these, you can just uh, do guesswork, depending on the context. As you know, with actual language learning. Uh, greetings. Tossa Yeshur click, Tossa Sor. It's also apparent that we have some compounds using, for instance, click. So we will have to take those into account and put them down. So Sor click. Trust me, we want to know firsthand as much as possible so that we don't give the incorrect response and thus um, earn the ire of the lizard folk. Tossa Sora. Does speak my language. Click. So. Does click me? No. Sef. <laughs> Try and figure that out without any sort of um, background knowledge on the basics. But indeed, um, lizard and tongue, as we'll soon enough find out. It's uh, very rudimentary. Mostly nouns, verbs, little to no adjectives, adverbs. It's just about enough to get the message across, so uh, simple enough to learn, possibly master within a week. Sorry, I can't understand thee. Tossa fits stretch. Tossa epa urgo. He points to the figure moving behind the bars, so that is indeed our hint that we need 
Urga's assistance to gain some uh, language proficiency. He is our duolingual. Fit Epa. And what else? Stretch. So with that, we got a nice little list of words that we can uh, pass on over to the illustrious Urgo and thus uh, become more knowledgeable, if they'll say so. All right, buddy, let's get to work. He swims the to see you again, capering heavily. Then he waits suspectedly. He indicates that you must supply a word and he will translate it for you. Other, let's start with Tossa. He points to you and takes your hand and makes you point to him. He indicates for you to try again. So, you. Next up, Sor. He scowls and looks aggressive towards you. He indicates for you to try again, so... Angry. You sure? Click. He smiles and like frenzy towards you. He indicates for you to try again. Friendly. Now, sort click. The second compound word. He eyes you suspiciously in case for you to try again. Um, let's label that as wary. To be wary of. Further down, we have fit. He holds his arms out and looks imploringly at you. He needs for you to try again. He holds his arms out and looks imploringly at you. Uh, to question. Epa. He mimes going away and then returning. He needs for you to try again. Go and return. Stretch. He mimes giving assistance. He gains for you to try again. To assist. To assist, help. Alright, now with that we have like what? 10 words by now? So, not a lot, but probably enough to make out some sentences. Pika to you too. Tessa Yeshur click. Tessa swore. You friendly, you angry. We are indeed friendly, my friend. Tessa epa urgo. Urgo stretch Tessa. Urgo sore. Tossa sore. You go and speak to Urgo. Urgo assist you. Urgo angry. Are you angry? I am not angry at you. You are friendly. Isili Sifari. Uh, Isili. It's easy to reckon. Out of context that translates to I am. I am Sifari. Sifari friendly. I am going to help you. Yes. Yes. Ergo angry. Ergo Sorazeka. We don't know what that means. 
Fist click Fippa. Fippa sounds like another name. Fippa Yifi Urgo. Now we don't want to make a decision here just yet, because we got some extra vocabulary that we want to figure out. It might be just the three terms, but we don't want um, our pal Urgo Gideon, or do we? Still a pretty uh, fruitful first exchange. Contact has indeed been made. Sora. He mimes picking your pocket. He engages for you to try again. To steal. Zeka. He points to his mouth, chews, and rubs his belly. To eat. And finally, EFV. He binds strangely summoned to death. In case for you to try again, what have you done, you absolute buffoon? Sounds like they really want to be done with you. To kill. Alright, Sifiri, run two. Sure, click. I am not angry at you. Please help me. All right, Urgo Sarazeka. Urgo stole our food. Fast click, Feppa. We don't have fast click, I believe. But, um, given the uh, very clearly indicative um, statement here, that's also probably a, a fault on Urgo's part. Fepe Yifi Urgo. I'm gonna assume this is the head honju around these parts, and uh, he wants our uh, buddy gone. No, please don't. Tosa Sela Zeka Isili. Isili Sela Urgo Tosa. We might need another trip to Urgo for extra translations. Namely, Fest Click Sela. I'll do. Hmm. I have to give him a straightforward response. Yes, I will. Uh, you are friendly. Tessa Isili. You. Um. Go and return to me. Sela Isili Zeka. Oh, I see. I think he wants me to bring him food. And then he will help her go. Very well, shall be done. So Sela might just be um the noun for food. But Got nothing to lose by confirming that with a uh, Mr. Um, Merriam Webster dictionary here. Let's click. He might be sending someone, he needs for you to try again. To hit. Then. Sella. He pretends to give you a gift, in case for you to try again. Ah, uh, I see. So... 
indeed. From what we gathered so far, the story presents itself this way. This poor son stole their food, and uh, when they raised concerns, he sucker punched the uh, lizard man boss. So they um from jail. That's not looking too hot for you, pal. Like um, you kind of gone goofed. So now we're gonna have to um basically return what he stole from uh, the lizard folk. Now, how much is that gonna amount to um, food I have to gift? No one really knows, but even though my supply is running short, we do have the means to um, procure extra digestibles on the spot. And that trick I like to call Quaid food. As it's canonically known in uh, <laughs> the Ultimaverse. So we're gonna prepare in money a limb. And summon consumables. Look at all this variety. Got plenty of carbs, some proteins, vitamins, more than enough to survive. Needless to say, we won't really have to be scavenging for um, food any longer. Stick and go here for a minute. Because I want as much um, bargaining chips as I want in my inventory for now. Now, where have you run off to? Right. Here it is. Uh, do you guys like bread? Because I got plenty. <laughs> I imagine they prefer meat, but listen, bakers can't be choosers. Food is scarce enough as it is down here. So, um, here, have all this. Isili Fesh Tossa. Tossa, you sure click. Tossa Epa Isili. I would call that a success. You know, for all we know, even though um, Ergo objectively stole their uh, common food stock, this guy probably just pocketed <laughs> all the uh, groceries I gave to him, and he's gonna keep, keep that to himself. And then the boss is gonna be like, Bro, where did you get all this bread? While he stuffs it down his jaw. He looks at you with wild joy in his eyes and launches into a mad capering dance of joy. Then he turns to you and signs his thanks. Go now and steal no more. You see him scamper off down the hallway, jumping up and down. So, not only did we perform the miracle of multiplying food, but we also gave him a little uh, Jesus-esque idiom to um, bid him farewell. Truly, we are a paladin through and through. I mean, uh, concerning all the spells I've been casting so far, which is primarily summon light and uh, heal minor wounds, I've been very, very much in character. Red Lizardman. Bika to the also. So say you should clip Feppa. 
we have not met Fepa yet. Sir Fepa, you see the Ephatosian. This woman grows menacingly. Ooh. I didn't mean to upset thee. I will leave now. I'm guessing you are Fepa. I mean, as if his elevated position wasn't a clear uh, enough giveaway. Uh, let's see. Yes, this time. You. You sure click friendly to Fepa. Yes. Tosia click Sifari. We are indeed also friends with um, that guy. You see the Yishra click Sifari here. Like Sifari. Good, we'd still like to barter. You've got some gold, which I find surprising. A fish and water. Really, I don't want any of those. If I'm gonna be exchanging my availables, it's for gear, most likely. Green lizard men. Uh, none of you are this Feba person I've heard so much about. And we probably want to meet the uh, Lizard Warlord. Just in case you can provide us with some info that are going to be helpful in our further exploits. But for that we're going to actually have to try and find him. Door is locked. Door is locked. That is not locked for once. Oh, another staircase down. I mean, eventually we'll have to descend, but not for now. I'm quite content with uh, hanging around here until we get the most essential jobs done. Ooh, another ranged weapon, huh? Finally we get a chance to pick up a crossbow. And also, a quiver. Which, for the purpose of inventory management, as you can see, is uh, pretty damn handy. Hmm, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna leave the bow. And the arrows. It's hard for me to determine whether this is an immediate improvement over the bowl. But we're gonna give it a test. And just in case, I wanna get it back. Show mark it here. Ooh, spider, so close to the encampment, not a problem. Oh goody, another container, what we got? More runes. 
Some of them are probably dupes. Speaks have to gain tracking. Really needed to put that one sentence since I have this massive book. Well, fortunately, at least the uh, documents we absolutely nothing. So you can lug them around to your heart's content. Imagine if they actually did use um, equipment load. That would be awful. So, do we have anything else here? Not worthy? Just this uh, couple of branching corridors. Nope, that does it. Everything else is locked away. So we're gonna need a key if we want to uh, peruse the lizard man uh, kingdom any further you know just because we like markers and waypoints keep it nice and tidy Uh, see, this is uh, an interesting uh, change as opposed to uh, the Unity um, remake, which I got, actually got to experience first, so we're looking at it retroactively. Uh, with this door being locked, you cannot take a shortcut in the original by jumping, but the exporter variant is much more generous with this jump so it was possible to do some sequence breaking Deep clean after we're done uh, exploring level three. More doors. Moving up to their quarters. Where we don't have a key bypass these restrictions, so it's gonna have to wait for now. Some of these just seem like shortcuts. So yeah, we walked all the way around here. beyond this or we cannot say because um, locked uh oh I'm gonna need the high ground for this encounter so yeah why don't you come a little closer old chum Another one. <laughs> Not really much opposition on this level besides the lurkers. I would dare say 
the previous floor was um, more demanding with uh, the headless. succeed in making it all the way back here so um, as you can see there's a nice little moat surrounding uh, the small little uh, settlement so even in terms of um, defense they do have a uh, natural means of um, protecting their encampment. Sure, there's drawbridges all across, but those can be uh, guarded with sentries. I'm gonna go all the way back again because there is a particular part of the map we haven't been to yet and it's um, it's pretty vital that we check it out it's got some important quest related items Now, oh, let's get rid of the spider first, before I went, before I go on a little uh, tirade. Rather unassuming looking wool, minus the vines, right? Uh, guess what? It's a secret. You see a vine covered with regular stone wall. You move the vines aside. It's very Doom esque in terms of um, wall humping. And yet, pretty much the first instance where you have to um, inspect stone walls that meticulously. Although. <sighs> I guess there were secret passages on the floors above, so it's not like your first song and dance of this kind. But still, it's uh, unless there is something later on to indicate that you have a secret chamber like this, I don't know how you'd be able to uh, find that if not by pure chance. The runes read Mountain Man Shack, Master Weaponsmith. We do indeed know of Shack and his shack. Oh shit, it's a ghost! The spirit Halloween kind of ghost. Available for $40. Tiga's look for such a bargain. Isn't it fortunate that I don't need magical weapons to actually um, 
smack this ethereal being. Now, if it was D&D, that'd be a completely different story. Speaking of D&D, Baldur's Gate and other classic Bioware games and uh, generally just um, all men games inspired by uh, Dungeons and Dragons are currently on a good sale on Humble Bundle. So um, go check that out and uh, scoop yourselves a good deal. Especially if you like um, traditional Western RPGs, you are gonna have a fun time. And I'm not saying that because I have a bias towards those games. No, sir. Okay, maybe slightly, but, you know. Can I, uh, use this fountain? How do I interact with it? You think it's one of those, uh, rejuvenation pools where you get your health back. Well, maybe because I'm already full. The rules read, heal thyself by using fountain. And also, an upgrade hunk. But more importantly, a broken blade. Now, if you remember us talking to Shaq on the previous stream, he mentioned two of the talismans we are looking for. A sword and a shield, and that is part of the legendary sword of virtue. Or the fact that I actually have to make space for you is uh, a little upsetting, so I'm gonna leave some gold in turn. What do you mean? There's plenty of space aside. God damn it. Uh, that was gonna drop. Food? I mean, you can always summon more food. Or just eat it. Oh, yeah, yeah, decisions, decisions. Right, fine. We'll part with more gold. Even though it pains me greatly. You're joking. Worth it. Ah! How heavy is the blade? Very much so. Well, I very need a. Uh, more schmuddy. I've got a small stash here. Hunk. Gold. Now then. I think it's time we level up, because it's been a while since we did that, and we are comfortably sitting on uh, level 9, so more than likely. We can progress, so let's up our magic a little bit. Extra mana, good, good. Let's do it again. Lord mana. 
Division Raw for combat. Missile unarmed and unarmed. Missile X unarmed. Would have preferred more with a um, sword. But in the case my weapon breaks, I guess uh, I am as a proficient at fighting without a weapon. Our mana is almost cut up to vitality, which um, is pretty damn good, because that means we're going to be able to cast some uh, fancier spells soon. We can probably even try uh, in the next uh, given occasion. Now, we must continue exploring this way. Ooh, who are you? Bika Yishuklik, Bika friend. Tussa fits trash. Uh, you? Uh, hold up. Do you need questions answering? Yes, we don't like to trade. Plenty of food, but not much else. And the door is locked. All right, that goes all the way around back to quarters and if I recall correctly I have to swim more ways through here that will take me to next major area. Wow. Holy smokes, is that plate mail? Worn breastplate, worn helmet. I used to think we hit the jackpot. I mean, sure, these are... Mm, well, the chainmail is serviceable, but... That's like... Day and night. Uh, I think... Um, it's gonna be the easiest swap... Of my life. I say that, but um, my weight capacity chooses to object. Well, looks like I won't be a um, millionaire for long. Just um, just gonna have to take the L on that one. Not even gobbling on the food made a difference. That's at least seven stones, geez. I mean, sure, it's plate mill, but come on. Give me some snack here. Ooh, 
that submerged into the water. <laughs> a, a little upset. Okay, look, I definitely need at least one of these red gems, so that's staying. That is not going away. So, what can I choose to do away with some crossbow bolts? God damn. Um. Eight stones. Well, uh, wherever I put uh, those uh, bolts away, <laughs> good luck finding them again. This pixelated mess. And uh, hey, plate mail, am I right? Ah, I call the way to the beginning of the zone. So this little stash was easy enough to miss if you weren't paying attention. Well, Mr. Looker, we're not doing this. Not when you have the clear advantage. Hmm, just a little um, island sitting here. How quaint. Uh, there's also the possibility of um, heading to the left from here, possibly uncovering uh, more turf. gonna attempt to body block me so we need to make haste and run away have to find a key that will let us uh, explore the Lizardman's uh, turf more freely. That will come in due time. Let's take a dive from here and check where that takes us. Another little stash over here. Hmm, I want to drop what's inside. Can't even check. There's so much, so little room. And sadly, I... Oh, fuck. Well, whatever was inside that little, uh... pouch. We just needed it. Hopefully nothing um, crucial. Mm. 
Ooh. Great lizard man. Ishtas. A greeting to you I give. Ishtas I am known as. What thing are you wanting? Amazing, you speak my language. Do by other Feppa the quiet, once my people are cold. This an iron is. We learn the Tepa your language can speak. Who are the Feppa? The Feppa my folk are. By you listen, they are cold. Ah, okay, so Feppa is not a person, but the name of the race. Interesting. Can't tell me any history. What's Mad Wizard know of? Please tell me. After Sir Kaber's death, Mumbling Wizard began upriver working. He talked many after, as your strange tongue we know. Spoke he, who nameless remains of a great sword, a part he broke. Tell me more. I cannot more much say. For a favor or more information get. Please tell me a favor does that want. Osika, leader of ours, upstream traveled a great many armed water beasts known to Feppa as Krikla to kill. So, the lurkers. He returned never. Would you find him? I will search for your leader. Upstream Osika traveled, returning never. Book of Mad Wizard, handy, perhaps telling more. Return with news, and a quiet one will reward handsomely you. A book, you say? I mean, maybe I have that on me? I have news of Sika. Uh, would you want this? I found this. There's nothing me tells. Alright, so not this book specifically. continue my search he says upstream so in terms of navigation it'd be like there somewhere so there's more of this where gray this is an invariant. Just happened conveniently to know the human language. Definitely makes it um, easier for us to communicate. Chilling here. Could it be a uh, seeker? Green lizard man. Nope. Just a generic representative of their kind. <sighs> what options do we have? Just more down here. We can uh, examine. Oh, there's a hostile bandit. Hey, you start this, and I plan on ending it. You picked the wrong house, fool. I'm wearing plate. You should know better by now. Big fights you can't win. Sucker. Mm. 
Worn longsword. In case I need a replacement. That's exactly it. Tom loves Judy. <laughs> I wonder if she remembers after all these years. I think it's some uh, cute little Easter egg from the developers. Hopefully the message hasn't aged like uh, milk. Aura, the mention of a number come that helps the unfortunate. Well, what didn't you know? Two shrines on one floor? Well, likely they didn't think. In the door. Ah, exactly the man I was looking for. Please remain in your quarters. I've got some chatting to do you and I Zack hello my name is Zack Webby Dine I am Avatar greetings to the adventurer did I tell you that I am Zack well met Zack I am Avatar well come on in and shut the door I won't thou certainly very good now that brings thee here Zack my name is not Zack it's Avatar very well Avatar Thou canst call me Zack if thou wish. Clearly, um, someone's lost some marbles from all the years of uh, living underground. I thank thee. What art thou doing here, Zack? I collect torches, lamps, and tapers. What's care to see? Certainly. See, I give a trade some with thee, if thou desirest. Now, we actually want this unassuming large candle he holds we don't know that yet however once we travel to level four we will learn from certain npc that a thief has stolen one of the talismans of virtue and this happens to be one such talisman so now the problem is, I actually had to do away with um, some stuff. So I don't have any bargaining tools, do I? Uh, it's not good. I guess I could give him the sword. Because we do have a quick replacement in the area. Oh good, the sun grip knows me and makes me afraid as the darkness. Let's think about this deal. I'm getting a terrible deal. Uh, uh, maybe if we didn't know in advance what this was. Still, it's a little nitpicky about it. Fine, I'm gonna sweeten up with this gem. Thankfully, we have a spare one on the floor. Brother, you're not making this easy on me. I really don't have anything else to give him. <laughs> As is. Hmm. Alright, fine. I'm gonna have to go back and grab some um, gold or gems. But first, let's mark down. Good old Zach. I mean, alternatively, we could just, um, you know, end his life. But that wouldn't be very paladin like, now would it? Uh, 
What do we have here? To swim better, chant the Ono Mantra. We do not care for poison. Look how sturdy I am. Also, look at all of these pieces of gear. And cheese! Cheese for everyone. Hey. And don't you shuffle around me. I am not having a headless flank me with a spider in two. Why are you monk walking? This is awkward. Come on. Please. Expire. Hit the spider that's clearly in front of you. Avatar. What the fuck, man? Lady. Who oh, shouldn't? Well, not quite what I want. However, all the other um, rewards make it. All the more worth it coming down here. Get rid of the poison. Okay, maybe I should have healed first. Yeah, um, that's not something you can just uh, <laughs> doze off. Alright, fine. I'm gonna get the uh, heal wounds spell ready. So let me uh, move on to the guide. Where I have my handy dandy list of incantations. Let's see if we can actually um, invoke greater heal in Mani. In Mani. The spell backfires. Welp. Yeah, that's a thing that can happen. If you're not proficient enough in spell casting. And uh, you can fall victim to your own um, magic mumbo jumbo. So, in that case, we're gonna pull out your trusty IBM. Try resting. There we go. Much better. Good outcome. Now, 
We have a little bit of peace and quiet around here. Let's, uh, let's do some uh, inventory management. Or try to. All right. The key. Which might actually open up stuff. You are going to put in here. This one goes in here. We're starting to gain a steady supply of uh, magical runes. Already halfway there, grabbing all of them. Equipment. It's rating quite the bidding. Badly worn with a shield, or a long sword, or a helmet, or a breastplate, or another leggings, or chain boots. So the shield is likely gonna break soon if we don't do anything about it. I did see one. Here we go. Oop. I put a small key ring, which is attached to this key. It's a small disc which has the letters E and W imprinted on it. Look for Heath's hideout behind storage room. I mean, we did meet a bandit. Next to two sets of doors. So chances are, those are the storerooms this uh, note is referring to. Cheese! It's been acquired. Worn with a shield. No brainer. Ditching. Uh, that one, so we can take you with us. Uh, what is this? A map case. Ooh. Okay, how about we put you here? Then the map can go here. What else is in there? Try this lever. Many are. Hmm. Many something. Again, uh, we're having weight management issues. Those are going to become more and more prevalent as we go on. You can already tell. I guess we're going to have to forget about being uh, viable in a. Uh, ranged and melee combat. Hey, we're almost um, out of leather gear territory. We've only really got the gloves left to replace, and that's as soon as we can find something that's um, not about to fall apart. We actually know what this lever does. 
the note might be cut off, but you just summon a, a plague of rats. Quite literally. Now, what do I want to do with um, Mr. Zack over here? Because, again, I don't have the space to uh, carry with me enough uh, valuables to make a good trade. I mean, we do have a little stockpile over here where I could just leave my armor and come back here with enough gold and jewels to exchange for the tapper and then uh, head back, which is extremely inconvenient and long-winded, but that's the way you play first-person dungeon crawlers, especially the data ones. I want to be over here, thank you. So let's make a turn over here and inspect this way. So that will drop through us all the way back here. Problem is, I don't think we can uh, easily travel back here. I mean, you can see the uh, way down. Maybe if I had better jumping abilities or a uh, flight scroll, I could have gone over there. But now, with the way this uh, floor is constructed, you're just gonna have to, um... Oh! Oh! Okay! There is no easy way to, uh, return. I stand corrected. Sadly, the island where I need to uh, grab the stuff is above a waterfall here. Which, um, which kind of sucks. There's really no choice for me but travel from here back to here and then make the same return trip unless I just forget about my principles for a minute which I might honestly do no 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 let's be a little patient here for all I know that Zack fella, maybe uh, vital to the main story in any shape or form later down the road. And as soon as I end his life, the game will say, well, 
Now that you've chosen violence, suffer the consequences. Problem in object list. Uh oh. This is where you want to double check if nothing got wiped from your inventory. Again, uh. There is an issue with uh, classic Ultima, where, from what I understand, when there's too many assets lying around on the floor, the game will give you this uh, internal error message, and there's a chance of it just automatically wiping stuff from the ground and, uh, what's worse, inventory. And in that sense, it can be indiscriminate. So, if you're not paying attention, you might lose some key objects. Hey, Golden. What's up, buddy? I got the chance to uh, play TF2 yesterday with my friends. And um, the bot problem is still very persistent. I really wish there was an easy way to blacklist bots from uh, game sessions. Even if you kick them around over and over, they're still gonna rejoin the lobby, which makes uh, playing in uh, public servers a nightmare. After a while we had to um, look for custom servers if you wanted to play uh, classic mode. Eventually, we winded up uh, playing some MVM, which is always a fun time. However, I'm just glad I got to play a bit of TF2 again. Not only that, I'm happy to see the game have a revival arc and prosper. It's almost like nothing has changed ever since I last logged on. Even despite the uh, changes in matchmaking. Them going for a more um, closer to Overwatch system in terms of um, HUD and uh, gathering teams. I will say this though, the seal map is goaded. Best addition ever. And the fact that it's an actual game mode that you have to get involved in and feed the seal in order to win. Great game design. If you're ever down to um, try it with the uh, folks on the server, I'm game. I don't think we're gonna be uh, doing this on the regular, probably just every once in a while so it doesn't wear off, but TF2 is an easy comeback for me, so I don't mind uh, indulging it. Okay, I'm gonna sacrifice the breastplate for now. Just so we can grab money. All the money and riches I can afford. So we can make the exchange. That was a mistake. Yeah, what's it's in the water? Yeah, 
it really is the only viable way to play TF2 with Joe experiencing a headache. Community servers are absolutely... Uh, whoever keeps those servers alive, they are giga chads in my opinion. And they deserve all the respects. Alright, let's think about it. Uh, didn't I have a shortcut, which I already forgot about? Yeah, I mean, I can just... put the drop here, right? And it's gonna send me... Uh... To where I wanna be? No, I have to go here. Right. Now to look for Zack and hope to God that he is in good spirits and not a capricious prick who would be like, well, I actually don't want to barter with you today. A hail and hearty hello to thee, Zack. Hail, how strange a word. It's very dark in here. Try to keep it well lighted as darkness creeps in. How does thou do that? I collect torches, lamps, and tapers. Would you care to see? Certainly. All right. Uh, my guy. 20 gold for that freaking mega candle. That's a steal for you. What do you mean you don't like this deal? Take all the gold I have. A gem? You gotta be shitting me. Perhaps we have to apply um, some bizarre logic here, in the sense that all good as hunger knows at me. Would you like an apple and cheese? Huh. Farewell, dumbass. I can just summon those at will. Well, uh, that was certainly easier than I anticipated. But, um, anywho, with that in mind. We have an unused taper, which we will let you know it is one of the eight virtue talismans that we will require in order to beat the game. So, you're gonna go in here with our quest important stuff and then I'm gonna get um, trapped in this maze for a bit because I have no sense of navigation whatsoever now we're gonna go grab my armor back and you know we're 
technically pretty much done here for the time being. Unless we explore the storerooms down here, which we may as well do uh, for one simple reason. There is a staircase down here going down. So it's one way of progressing to level 4. And uh, it's just a steady swim upstream. So going back down here, checking these two rooms out, and then heading back here seems like a viable journey to make. Oh. I am not looking forward to finding any mobs, even if it's a bat. Um, my chest is unprotected. Sure, there's a plain cloth shirt, but it's not really got that many armor points to the overall score, now is it? Whoever need money in the future, we're just gonna have to come back to floor three. We essentially have two little um, locations that act as stashes. To God, do not toss the press plate into the water. Thank you. Now, there was also um, that little side quest from uh, the Great Lizardmen about finding their boss. We've pretty much been everywhere I can think of, and we haven't found a single hint as to what may have been his fate, unless we uh, investigate. Close to here. There is some bits of the uh, Lizard Man Kingdom we haven't been to yet. And now that I think about it, we do have uh, two keys now, one of which probably uh, lets us open these doors. Sure enough. Let's start opening up our kingdom. What do we got here? To protect thyself, use the Android chant. Pika, you should click. Pika friend. Toss a fit's trash. Only water. Well. It's nice to know that there's someone I can rely on in case I want to stay hydrated, but knowing what 
the quality of the water down here is. I do not trust their bottled water at all. You just uh, can't be too sure where they're getting it from. This is a completely pointless room. Unless... Nope. No secret passages here. You can inspect the keys to give you some hints as to what they do. Like this one has a little lizard man. It's a decoration. So that's your um, clue on the possible use. Ooh, more gems. A peace like Pika, Tosa Yashuklik. Uh. Let me check my um, guide to Lizardman speak. Hello, you friendly. And we can respond with yes or no. Isili Sela Tosa Stresh. He shows you a scroll which reads Wanderer. Isli name is please red ruby find if red ruby find fepa rune spell will be told translated by quiet ones Ooh. Uh, i wonder if this one counts or does he want the bigger stone tosa click isili fesh tosa All right, we'll put you on the map here as a uh, East League. It's gotta be the larger ones. Clearly these two are here to indicate uh, what kind of gem he's specifically referring to. And with that, we went all the way around to the main quarters. You know, technically, since this crate here is empty, we can leave it here just to free up some uh, inventory space. It's one stone, but hey, at least I can carry some basics. Key does not fit. Oh, makes you wonder if we do have a key. That's uh, of a matching kind. may require something else entirely. Then we had another door here, if I remember right. Can you be unlocked? Certainly help me, my exploits. But of course, that is not the case. Why should I be able to travel freely? A 
so sadly, I can't easily come around to here yet. Which would have been great for just making a shortcut through uh, the lizard folk stronghold. What about these two doors? Anything uh, we can do with you? Not this one. And not this one. A uh, small golden key? No. It's a bust. I'm gonna travel upstream here and try to mark out this bit as much as possible. Wild rat, and looky here. Die, foul beast. That might interest the great businessman fellow. For that, we'll need to check its contents. More importantly, extra runes. We'd like to see those. You read the scroll. Osika, upon your shoulders does holding together the lizard folk. Alliance fall. Please do not fail me. Sir Kabiris. Well, sadly, he is no more. Read the book. Guess he once broken half to half. Search for blade in southeast. Behind wall secrets are. Ah, alright, so. The game does give you indication where to look for that uh, secret wall that we already. Preemptively found. You just really need to make sure you mark out as much of the map as possible because you'll have little uh, nooks and crannies like that one we've just been to. And you might be missing out on potentially just vital pieces of lore and equipment if you, uh, Don't um, put it on your map. The runes read Magic Crystal exposes hidden tubes and monsters. Well, that's a monster right there. Come here. Serviceable May leggings. As opposed to... Serviceable May leggings. Yep, yeah, we need a spare pair of trousers. We know where to look. Lock door. Doesn't fit. Doesn't fit. Uh, 
and that will bring us to here. We will be able to connect the two, I believe. Or so I think. No, there's more like a secret little room. Hmm. How peculiar. Anyway. Uh, we have Osika's note. So I reckon we should head on over to the grey reptile lad and well, sadly be the bearer of bad news. Where were you again? There's three of you, so... Excuse me if I can't subtly tell the difference between each individual lizard man. Again, agreeing to you, I give. I have news of Osika. Please, adventure. What Osika news have you? I have found this, my friend. Why, yes, of this Osika did have. Oh, what means this? I found his bones in the room upstream. Sorry, day indeed. Still, thank you. Here, a gift for you is. Canst thou now tell me of the sword? What you to know want? Where can I find the sword? Sword and two pieces broken is. Wizard took half below. Osika, clue to blade found, he said. Blade somewhere in our domain is, I think. More than that, I do not know. Alright, one of the parts is ready in our inventory. The other one, we have to look for in the levels below. I will continue my search. And he gave us a slightly worn wand, a red potion, and another rune. I'm pretty sure we had, but hey, even if you collect a duplicate, it's still worth throwing in the inventory. Just in case. So, with that little side mission done and dusted, the two things left we can tackle are first checking out the storerooms occupied by the bandits, which are down here, and going back here again, just so we can give Eastleek a red ruby. However, that's less of a castle than I had to do while heading to Zack, so for a completion it's sake. We're, uh, we're gonna take it on. So, let's have a little swim, because we like murky water, and uh, we sure love potentially getting all of those uh, bacteria and horrible diseases on ourselves. Alright, there's a waterfall here, so that's not an easy as a venture as I thought it'd be. Um, it's my other option. Alright, thankfully, you should be able to go through your lair. Maybe. Yep, 
you know, one key would have been enough. How do you guys even get around? Do you just have a key ring with multiple keys opening each individual door that you have to remember which one goes where? I mean, not to insult these uh, reptiles, but I think that'd be a little too complex for them. Alright, fine, we'll go the long way around and do the storm first. Because that's exactly what the game wants me to do. Plenty of uh, walking. Walk that card you up. Right, so the bandit is just gonna vibe here. If we don't disturb him, he's uh, not gonna go uh, sicko mode on us. There's more of you, which I wonder if you're different. Nope, same kind of response. But the other side. Ooh. Head bandit. What are they doing here? Leave now before I call the guards. Um, excuse me, I shall leave now. Hmm. Let's save. And try diplomacy. Can we not discuss this? I have nothing to discuss. Please deal with my underlings first before thou dost continue to bother me. Go now. Hmm. Okay. Avatar, what does wish now? Merely to exchange items and information. Maybe eventually they'll get a little uh, more hospitable. Alright, that's clearly uh, misaligned. To them, it's the secret room the note mentioned. A worn broadsword. Now, would that be better than what we currently have? Probably. The wider, the better. Slightly more magical wand, two scratch rubies, and a rail stone. Naturally, we shall deploy the rune in our handy dandy bag. These we'll take with us, because conveniently we do need uh, some rubies. We can throw away the ones uh, we want to keep them. I don't know. Preferably, I would like this massive sword instead. Too heavy. Uh, can I just pick one then? Thanks. Um. Oh, Th they did not like me messing around in their stock.
Wait, there's just this one guy, though. Hold up. What if you lure him away? Will that, uh... Will that prevent the rest of you from aggroing? Come on. Follow me. Hard to grab this broadsword. Don't ruin it. I stole this fair and square from you thieves, so it's rightfully mine. Because that's exactly how life works. The cycle of nature and item is exchanging hands. Wow, they, they really paid no heed to their comrade getting slaughtered by me. Hmm, I wonder why one of ours is uh, chasing the avatar. Not my business. Well, I mean... They are bandits, so... Morals are very dubious within the lot. Okay, now we should be able to make a straight beeline to Mr. Eastleek and make the exchange. I just like collecting precious gemstones, so we're gonna help him finish his proud uh, display. Pika, you should click. Tossa Sela is a stretch. Here's indeed a red ruby. Tossa, you should click. One, uh, what do you mean that it's too heavy to take? Come on. Really? Well, thankfully it lands on the floor. Um, I'd be very, very upset if it just got evaporated out of existence. Oh boy, we're really reaching a point where scrolls are being to weigh on us. Alright, tell you what, we're gonna get rid of these notes that just give you a chance, because those I can always look up. This we already know about, so away with the... Uh, the fact that... These also have an uh, impact on your carrying capacity is exceptionally annoying. Well, on the flip side, I'm gonna have a lot more room here. Get rid of these uh, sheets of paper. Uh, this recipe I'm gonna keep on me, just in case. Wonder, thank you much. I can lizardman rune spell talk for walk water. 
Elempordu. Well, that's gonna make traveling across water way easier. And a fur shrine. A lot of spirituality down here. On this level, for sure. Well, besides some locked doors, that about um, covers level 3. We are more than prepared to traverse down deeper. Uh, we're just going to leave. Because now that I know that um, even paper impacts my uh, weight, to get rid of as much as I can. Ragged scroll. These, I think, are spells. Try to use a lockpick. So I wonder if um, that's the only way to get around some doors that are beyond your access, like here. All right, for curiosity's sake, we're gonna experiment with that notion. Our final distraction before we traverse further into the abyss. Just making sure we have everything we need. Luck picking attempt failed. Granted. I am not versed in practical skills, so this might be a lost cause. Yeah. Not even uh, worth the hassle. Still won't uh, stop me from clinging onto that lockpick, just in case. Head back here and then off to level four. Here we go. New level, new opportunities. We've only really seen a small chunk of this area. Enough to give us a general impression as to uh, the denizens of this uh, region and the uh, social climate that goes down here. Also skeletons. Not that much of an uncommon sight in a dungeon. As you can clearly see, this broadsword was an immediate improvement, and I'm more than happy that we choose to bring it with us.
you see the benefit appears, which means friends ahead. That is until we encounter an instance where someone uses that as a fake out. Wow, rude. Anywho, say hello to the trolls. What are you doing here? Can't still tell me any news. Me here, one troll got cut by wizard. Main slave. I mean, given that we've seen goblins, friendly trolls shouldn't be too much of a surprise. And once again, comes to show just how versatile Sir Caberus was in picking the future inhabitants of the abyss and his little pet project. He's got some meat and gold in case we want to entertain trade. Lakshi Longtooth, a human enters our domain. This revent, why do you come? I need some information from thee. Maybe, because question, I answer. You can still tell me about... Uh, I see, so we need to ask her about specifics. Rostek, who are you? I don't seen you before. I am Avatar. All sounds very confusing. Mind if I call you Rodriguez? <laughs> Why this specific name, though? I mean, maybe he's a fan of the director, Robert Rodriguez. If so, you and me, buddy, we're gonna get along just fine. Gloating about from dusk till dawn. Not at all. Rodriguez is a fine name. Whatever you say, Rodriguez. What I do for you. Can't still let me through that door. I open the door? Yes, I could. You want me to? Yes, please. Maybe open the door if you give me something. And that's exactly why I've been holding to these uh, small stones. Here. Oh, I like. Thank you. Door open now. You happy? Uh, yes, because with this little trick, we are skipping past some stones in order to progress a uh, quest line here. And also, we got another shrine we can uh, interact with. So let's already start putting down our notes of interest. So, troll domain. Move scroll. We need that scroll to advance a plotline. The fruit of Lorne is thus. In our days of beginning, we must stick together and not allow petty grievances to stand in the way of respect. This message will become uh, more apparent as we talk to a specific group of residents. But all in due time. All in due time, my friends. I mean, sometimes just an elevated slab of stone and a rock work as a bed. King size, if you will. And more trolls. Just uh, mind your own business. No. Sephir Strongarm. That's a troll I don't remember talking to in my first playthrough. So, new content. 
Ahoy. A human. When I was younger, I beat up many humans like you. A fine troll I was. Thou still does seem very powerful to me. Thank you. You nice human. Ah, those were days. Lots of glory. Nice treasure. Now you're happy with simpler things. Now that I get a closer look at him, he just looks like Baraka from Mortal Kombat, but a crooked thief. You might wanna... You might wanna schedule a dentist appointment, friend. Uh, like what? Oh, I would love War Beast too. My mother, she made it when I was just a little troll. You have any? And that is exactly why I've been holding to this bowl of um, questionable cooking all this time. Here. Ooh, Wormy Stew. Just what I love. Here, take Dragon Scales. Maybe they'll help you not get hurt when you go hot places. Just like Dragon. I like how this troll has been just holding on to such a valuable item without giving it so much as a second thought. But then again, Shrek here did say that he is a simple troll with simple ideals. You read the scroll. Graflasness, Sephar. You don't might string by protecting us. Thanks. Well, the temple was made. That communication. Give that much. Absolutely wrecked by these spiders. I need to ready my healing. That should keep me alive a little longer. Regarding a mandolin, a bowl, which we could have used to make the stew if you didn't grab it all the way from level one. And another parchment. What does it say? Music and lyrics to a popular troll fight song. Is that implication I'm gonna have to play it at some point? Might be. That might be the case. But a pretty vast open space here. And some hidden runes. Well, not so much hidden as out of plain sight. Still, into the pouch you go. I think before I head out to unknown territory, I want to try and uh, uncover the places I've been to. So let's pass through uh, the troll territory again. Lockpick and to note Ooh, 
Lakshi, I am trying to discuss with you the possibility of your performing a small service for me, which in the end would be beneficial for to ourselves and the business as a whole. If you could have several of your subjects do some small favors for me, I will be indebted for you for quite some time. Just tell my messenger your response. He can't be trusted. Now, Lakshi, I believe, was the female troll we met earlier. Who was she corresponding with? That we do not know just yet. Anyway, even more runes. Yoink. Worn longsword. Undamaged silver ring. Some of these can have magical properties, but the thing is... Unless you identify them, you'll never know. My health is not doing too hot, so I recommend we set up camp here. Now we can head off without any worries. Uh, we don't want to be here just yet, because I want to talk to a couple of other roaming uh, humans, in fact. Too heavy. Typical. Uh... Really need that. Here's the book: a short treatise on fishing technique, including casting technique and choice of lure. That might come in handy. Maybe. T tough to say. Radinar. Hey, you stranger. When unhappy accident brings thee to the abyss, I have been unjustly accused of a kidnapping. Survive alone is an ambitious goal in the abyss. Thou art a brave soul indeed, if thou aspirest to aught beyond that. How dost thou survive amidst such peril? I take care to keep myself far from trouble's path and fish for my food. Where dost thou fish in this place? If thou but venture northward, thou shalt soon come across a pond so thick with fish thou couldst walk across without getting thy boots wet. Uh, figuratively, but I can also do that literally now with magic. I can give thee my spare fishing pole, if thou dost need it. I do need one, thank thee kindly. May thy case be ever fruitful. We can't really keep it on us, but just in case. It's here now. Hey, Dardine. How's it going, pal? Did you enjoy Risk of Rain with the boys? Ooh, there was old chain gauntlets. I think it's time to say goodbye to our leather gear. And instead, advance. Of course, it's too heavy. Hey. Hold up, we might be able to cheat this a little bit. If I get rid of some scrolls. Yeah, 
there we go. Officially moved on to chainmail slash plate. That point in an RPG where you move on from novice warrior to semi-competent just because of your equipment boost. Yeah, once you actually start putting up together plate mail, that's when the feeling of uh, power starts seeping in. What's the longest run you guys managed to pull off tonight? Uh, I believe there should be one more fellow we can uh, chat to. But anyway, he's a little fishing spot. Ooh. Chest, which happens to be locked. Uh, lockpick? Just slam every key they have and pray for the best. Oh well, we can always mark it. Okay, so we do come back later here with the proper key. Oh yeah, head bobbing while you're submersed in water is actually pretty crazy in this version. In uh, the Unity build, which I did try for the first two streams, it's smooth sailing. But overall, despite some setbacks, I can honestly say I prefer playing this uh, closer to what uh, you'd experience. Minus the addition of uh, mouse look. Like, that one change is uh, irreplaceable. Uh, I think there's one more guy I want to have a little chat with before we go on to our next important location. As soon as I stop getting lost, that is. Okay, well, I want to go here. And uh, straight. Oh no! Wait, that's uh, yeah, that's where I need to go to advance the story. So where's the other guy? There should be another outcast roaming this zone. It's not you, is it? No, we already talked to Radner. Uh, have not tried. I want to talk to another guy that happens to roam these hallways just for a little bit of um, flavor talk. Ah, there you are. Nope. <laughs> Congratulations, making full circle and confusing this dude. Someone else. Guys, I swear I'm not going schizophrenic and there's actually another NPC. Well, for all we know, he could just be roaming about somewhere. This 
Where are we going to unknown lands? There you are. That's way further than I anticipated, but I guess I misremembered. Lynette. Hail, stranger. It is indeed a rare pleasure to encounter a new face amongst the denizens of the abyss. What has brought thee hither? I must prove I am innocent of a kidnapping. A terrible crime indeed. I would fain believe thou art innocent of such, for thy face has honor in it. Thou dost wear it like few I have beheld in many years in the abyss. May I help thee in any way. Why art thou here? Like thee, I was unjustly accused of killing a man. I swear to thee I never struck him. I merely held him down whilst my brother kicked him. He should not have treated our sister as he did, and only a weak man could perish from such slight injuries. He probably deserved it. Indeed, Almerick's justice is a blind archer, oft missing the mark. In sooth, thou speakest with a wisdom beyond thy years, friend. What I wouldst not give to teach thy tyrant Almerick a lesson about justice and honor, I would deal him a buffering that would leave his heirs dizzy for generations to come. Would I could aid thee more, friend, but I know little. I have heard tell that a maiden is held captive near Capers' quarters far below. Perhaps the knights could tell thee more. What does that know of the knights? There is much tension in this level of the abyss. The knights inhabit the western area, and a pack of trolls lived in the eastern reaches. Even while still Caberus was alive, there was an uneasy peace between them. After Caberus's death, there was some strife, as each group attempted to gain power over the other. But these days, there is a lot of peace. Perhaps the greatest danger in this area now is Roderick, known as the Chaos Knight. He lives by the old banquet hall to the north. He is the foe of both the knights and the trolls, but neither has been able to defeat him yet. I hear that Dornar Iropis has put a price upon his head. Has thou heard news of a captain virgin in the abyss? A knight told me that a maiden's body had been found in the lower levels. In their search for some new advantage over the trolls, the knights explore more widely than I. Mayhap they can tell thee more. Still be careful, lest thou become the next casualty in their senseless battle with the trolls. Must thou be interested in a trade? I don't really have anything I require, but this man definitely was worth talking to because he just gave us a lot of insight as to the situation down here. And these knights that he mentioned are next on our list to do. Because getting under good favor will yield us more information and goodies. Kyle, hail stranger, be thou a warrior. I, indeed, and why dost thou fight? I take joy in spilling my opponent's blood. Evil must be fought wherever it is found. I must defend my honor at all costs. I fight only to uphold the principles of virtue. This right here is a uh, trick question. Again, I've been pointing this out a couple of times during the playthrough now, but in the ultimate verse, Virtue is held in the highest regard. Pursuing the eight principles that are the spiritual guidelines that you are supposed to live around and strive to perfect yourself are the end goal of anyone who calls themselves a holy warrior. So the correct answer here would be if I only to uphold the principles of virtue. Assuredly, thou art a kindred spirit. And thou prove valorous, I shall bid thee join my order. Thank thee, I accept. If thou wishest to become a knight, 
that she should go to the south of her domain and talk to Dorna, our leader. Trust him during the initiation, and all should be fine. Join our order, and help us in a quest for honor. We shall seek him out. Farewell. We have to go through set test if we want to interact with any of the knights any further. If we try to talk to them beforehand, they're just going to tell us, hey, go to Dorna and take the test. But interestingly, uh, if you even want to take the test, you have to talk to one of the knights at least once and gain their um, acknowledgement. Ooh, you guys happen to have an Ankh here, which is cool and, you know, appropriate, given you know, that they're holy order. But we shall do more advancements, now that I have some levels. Mace defense and unarmed. Missile, missile, missile. Unarmed excellent missile. You're not ready to advance. No practical abilities whatsoever, but it's fine. We don't need those. I am a master of um, diplomacy through different means. Plenty of um, lore down here. Let's see what these scrolls say. The maze conceals many chambers. One is said to lead a chamber once used by the knights. Lorne went to the homeland of the trolls in the hope of building a shrine. To pass into the unseen, jump through the scene. There's a hidden door somewhere. The maze is locked with a key that is now thought to be lost. The heights of the north have a hidden counterpart. Uh, these notes allude to more bits of the dungeon. We will be learning through talking to one of the knights in a bit. The bullfrog puzzle has a simple solution, but there is more than meets the eye in that place. Sir Lionier, Sir Avril. There's gonna be a little uh, side quest involving a gravestone, but not um, any of the two here. Secure outpost ahead, be prepared. Alright, training hall, training hall. We need the training hall. Main office, left checkpoint. Armory. I would very much like to get in there, but it's unlikely without a special key. Now then, one of these is the head knight of the order. And we need to make sure we pass the exam. If thou wishes to become a knight, thou shouldst talk to Dorna, our leader. He resides in this room. Trust him during the initiation, and all should be fine. Join in order and help us in a quest for honor. And there he is, Dorna Ironfist. 
Greetings, I am Dorna Ironfist, leader of the Knights of the Order of the Crooks and Sada. Who are thou? I wish to join thy order. Thou wishes to join the Knights of the Crew? Very well. Thou must answer my questions to the best of thy ability, and I should judge whether thou art worthy of admittance into the order. Identify thyself, so I may know whom I query. A valiant warrior, skilled in combat and magic, a noble Britannia, worthy of knighthood, the poor daughter of my mother. Uh, another test, this time of modesty. So we shall answer, the poor daughter of my mother. That is plain. Art thou willing to sacrifice thy life to join our order? Yes, I am. And dost thou submit to our justice? Indeed, I do. Very well. Thou hast earned death by coming here, and thou shalt have thy reward. Here is a cup which bears within it a venom, both swift and deadly. Take it and drink it. Very well. You take the cup. Within it is a clear, odorless liquid. You raise it to your lips and... Drink it in a trot. The taste of it is like pure water. You wait for several moments and nothing happens. Then a voice cries out in mourning, and a funeral dirge plays. She who drank from the cup is now dead. In her place stands Avatar, Esquire of the Order of the Crew and Sada. Tell me, were thou afraid? Yes. Good. To know fear is the first step to knowing valor. Thou art now a squire of this order. This whole sequence uh, reminds me of um, an important scene that plays out in Dragon Age Origins. You pretty much go through the same ordeal in that game from what I'm aware of. The quest is to find the Writ of Lord, a document written by one of the first knights who sailed this order in the abyss. The document was written during the early years of the colony. It locates much knowledge of that time. However, it is now gone. Though many suspect it is in the troll homeland. Seek it. And when thou returns, here with it, a knight of our order thou wilt become. Well, fortunately, someone has already went one step ahead. And uh, I do happen to have it on me. Um, I thank thee. Canst thou tell me aught of Kaber's talismans? They are also my quest. Precious little. They numbered eight, and Kaber's didn't intend them to go each to one of the leaders of the eight groups who sailed the abyss. Alas, he perished, and all eight were lost. Tis said there were a book bottle of wine, a shield, a sword, we know about these two, a taper, a standard, a cup, and a ring. Each was imbued with the potent power of a single virtue. It is said they confer virtue both for the seeking and the finding. I know only the taper and the standard. The taper of sacrifice was stolen from us only recently, and we know not of its current whereabouts. Well... Fortunately, we've already reclaimed that from Zack. So we indeed do hold one of the talismans now in the procession. As for the standard of honor, it is said that it is awaiting one who would perform a sufficiently honorable deed. Farewell, brother, and thanks. And now we're gonna talk to him because I have the Brit. I have succeeded. Here is the writ. Thou hast done well. The quest is accomplished. Well done. Now thou art Lady Avatar, Knight of the Order of the Crooks and Sada. Take thou this helm of plate, worthy of a knight. With that we had a horse to give thee as well, for this proper of a knight. I would love that, but I don't think a horse would be a viable means of traveling down here in the dungeon. Are there any more lost artifacts in need of retrieval? The Order once owned a golden plate. Years ago it was stolen by a thief, who I will not even describe, for he is not worth the time it would take. He fled into the maze and was not seen again. Since then, it was rumored to have been found several times. The last rumor placed it at the grave of Sir Ingvar. Find it, and I will rise even further as a knight. 
I thank thee. Until we meet again. So that is indeed our next main objective. And this is an easy swap because you don't find gear in excellent shape all that often. So now that we're officially Lady Avatar, the knight, we can uh, converse with our fellow kinsman, like Cecil. It's a pleasure to see you again, Knight Avatar. How goes thy quest? Uh, canst thou help me to find the plate? It is said that Roderick, the dreaded Chaos Knight, holds a key thou needest. Behind him lies a maze with many secret places. Thanks thee for thy help. It would appear that we're gonna have to be facing this Roderick quite soon. It's a pleasure to see thee again, Night Avatar. How goes thy quest? Uh, secure the barter. Thank you. We need to talk to a few more people here before I leave, especially one guy. We'll know as soon as I see him. From what I remember, he's just vibing in one of these uh, rooms. Office of Troll Watching, Treasurer. I believe this is the place. Derek. I am Derek, a knight and a worker. Who art thou? Avatar, an aspiring knight. Ah, uh, the adventurous life is not for me. I am content to remain here and work in my craft. What is thy craft? I carve gems and work metals. It is hard and tedious work, especially with poor tools, but I am content with it nonetheless. Well, you, me old chum, are in luck because I happen to have the finest gem cutter offered to me by the Dwarven King. Here. Would this item help thee? Ah, that's no ordinary tool, but a true work of art befitting an avatar. I can't take it from thee. No, I insist. Take it. That is too kind of thee. I cannot tell thee how much it will help me in my work. Thou hast demonstrated much humility by giving away this artifact. It is only right that I tell thee of the Ring of Humility. There is a room in the northwest portion of the level below us. There you'll find four switches. Flip them in this order. Northwest, Southeast, Northeast, and Southwest. You know, uh, it's probably good if I take notes. <laughs> Ring of Humility Switch Order Northwest South East North East Southwest Be careful to stay out of the middle of the room. Farewell then. Greetings, Avatar. I'm forever indebted to thee for the gem cutter thou hast given me. It has increased my productivity tenfold. I am glad it was of use. Alright, so that's one uh, plot line sorted. Now there is one more guy I'm thinking of at the back of my head who does give you some very very helpful advice in your future adventuring. I think it's you. Fesnor. Welcome travel. How can I help thee? Tell me of the sights of this level. Ah yes, this area is wonderfully designed. We created much of it ourselves with some help from the artisans of Minok and the mountain folk. Minok is 
particularly uh, close to my heart because if you played Ultima Online, that's the mining hub of Britannia. And it's got like the best starting resources if you want to pursue that um, job line. So you will have a lot of uh, people who just hang around there. There are many regions of interest. Although the Abyssal Colony has only existed a short time, it is filled with wonders to match any found in Britannia. Can't you tell me of these wonders? In the northeast corner of the level is the puzzle of the bullfrog, made by a wonderful mountain folk craftswoman who had the love of frogs. I think uh, she and Maiden would get along just fine. To the northwest is the maze of Silas, a stonework and lover of deceptive walls. Beyond the maze is the door of a precious levers, which opens the gateway to the resting place of one of our order, Sir um, Ingvar, as we learned earlier. There is a water-filled area to the west of the abyss, volcanic core. The waterfall is something to see. Tell me about the puzzle of the bullfrog. Past the puzzle in the northeast, there is an entrance to the tombs below. To reach the entrance, one must traverse an area surrounded by water. It is set by using the levers and buttons in the area. One may create a safe path to the other side. It has been years since the puzzle was created though, and its solution is now lost. The only clue I know of it is that the wand found there will restore the puzzle to its pristine state. Now for the maze of Silas, or Silas, is now infested with pests and littered with debris and bones, but there are said to be other things in the maze as well. Hidden chambers and items of some value. The locations of these chambers and items are unknown now. However, so what they contain, I cannot reveal to thee. The door of precious levers. The puzzle of precious levers is beyond the maze. Although the members of our knighthood will not be specific, it is believed to be in a concealed area. The puzzle itself was built to guard the stores of the old government of the Abyss. Now, however, not one of us could tell thee what lies beyond the closed door. The workings of the levers are not understood, but it is said that their secrets can be gleaned through careful examination of the artifacts of our order. I have not the patience for such research, but perhaps one who does will solve the mystery. That being us. Tell me of the trolls. They are indeed a vicious and dangerous race. I will call them indecent, but that was not Kabir's way, and I strive not to make it mine. They are, truth to be told, honorable in their own way. Only a few of them still cling to any shreds of the abyss's purpose, though. Some have reverted to their natural combative state. They are monsters, and powerful ones at that. How can one pass through the realm safely? Thou needs not fighting, uh, continuing to survive the realm. In the south, where the main meeting hall of the trolls used to be, there are still trolls for respect Kabir's purpose. They can tell thee more of the realm. Beware the dark trolls. They are more powerful even than the normal ones. Also beware the northern parts of the realm. But they have been invaded by spiders, helices, and worse. These monsters will provide enough trouble, so don't attack the trolls unless they attack thee first. Thou wilt have enough trouble staying alive without picking fights. How did your order come to the abyss? We came here from Jalom, the first town in Britannia that I can say with certainty. Been to them all I have, and none compare. Thou dost speak truly. The colony of the abyss was an achievement unparalleled in recent times. Eight cultures mixing in one environment and getting along splendidly. We had some banquets that were spectacular, I tell thee. They reveled even the best parties that even Jalom could offer. We would all gather just to the northeast of here in the banquet hall. We would stay up all night through. Of course, it is hard to tell down here. And recount tales of our homelands, our rituals, and our friends. Now all we do is fight for food and space. Truly, the death of Capirus was the death of the colony of the Stygian Abyss. Still, we try, for it is all we can do to honor his legacy and dream. It all used to be a DreamWorks movie until it faded away. Like, imagine dwarves drinking together with goblins and trolls. 
Tolkien rolling in his grave at the mere thought. But anyway, Fesno here was a good conversationalist because he just gave us a lot of advice on what awaits us not only on this level, but even further on. A book written to help parents find their children entitled Mundane Strikes Back. Mundane is one of the first key antagonists in the Ultima series. A very powerful wizard who I also believe is responsible for the cataclysm that eventually destroyed the previous land and uh, carved out Britannia. And uh, they did even make the expansion pack for Ultima Online themed around them. But then again, they also did make one for the Stygian Abyss. But that one is, well, long after I uh, stopped playing the game. You know, it's actually touching to still see uh, people make their own community servers for Ultima Online and keeping uh, the dream alive. I mean, there's still official ones, but if you want like uh, more quality of life changes and custom content, preferably you just want to find a good uh, community server. So when's Trump? I'm Joe Biden. I'm pleased to make that acquaintance. Lady, thou art a member of my order. Thou too dost strive to uphold the ideals of honor, espoused by order. Thou dost understand the virtues, understand the ways of knighthood. Please, listen to my tale. I'll be happy to hear thy story. Tis not a happy story, lady, but I shall tell it all the same. Sir Roderick was once a member of our order, but abandoned the principles of our order and now calls himself the Chaos Knight, terrorizing the entrance, uh, the entire northern area. Since to attack one with many would be dishonorable, our leader Dorna picked me to defeat him in single combat. When I reached the old banquet hall to the north, I was suddenly attacked by Roderick, who leaped from a ledge above me and took me off guard. He attacked relentlessly, and though I hit him several times, my own blows did little to slow him to curb his apparent anger. He taunted me continuously as we fought. I would not listen as I attempted to reason with him. How did the battle finally end? After several minutes, I was bleeding from several wounds and thinking my time was up. In desperation, I flung my sword at him. He blocked it easily, but the distraction allowed me to run from him. So that is my story. I cannot return to my home until I have eliminated Roderick and restored our order's order. It will be some time now before I am capable of fighting. So I wait here, far from the trolls and our pests, gathering my strength before I head off again. Uh, to what going to attack him again? I give the rest of my right arm for a chance to take that rogue on again. He'd find out what sort of knight I am. Perhaps I can defeat him. That would be quite honorable of thee. If thou dost meet the rogue and defeat him, it would not only bring great honor to thee, but also perhaps save my life. I will seek him out. So, I assume that if we do indeed proceed this way, we're gonna hit that banquet hall. In that case, it's best that we make a save. So, so potentially... Uh, well, there's <laughs> not much here, really. So it's just a straight shot upwards. The 
It's an imp. Scuttling about. Wow, we got a lot of mobs roaming this uh, grand chamber. I mean, it's just low tier enemies. Still, sheer numbers. We don't want to aggro them all at once. can cast magical projectiles my way, so the sooner we get rid of him, the better. Any more of you left? So far, so good. here. Ah, great light. Well, that uh, definitely helps. Oh, wait, wait. It's closer to infravision as you, uh, as it's depicted in uh, Dungeons and Dragons. It's all freaking grey now. So there's this guy just chilling here. Ha! Another has come to be defeated by the Chaos Knight. Very well. Let us see how quickly I can slay thee. All of you to say that while relying on these pests to weaken me. We're actually holding up against him pretty nicely. Chunky fella, but down he goes. Here, I have to heal real quick because the poison alone is uh, quite dangerous. See what this uh, fool had on him. Surplice of mail shirt, jeweled sword. That sounds fancy. It's probably even better than what I have. And a key. The kind of the ski is set with a smooth stone of obsidian. So this was this banquet hall I've heard so much about. Well, it's certainly a hole, but 
no banquets will be held here anymore. This leaves the great hall to enter the realm of the trolls. Ah, it will turn us down here. Okay, probably want to interconnect uh, that on my map. Hey, buddy, come here. I still don't feel confident enough in our spellcasting abilities to uh, get rid of poison, which, again, fifth tier, which, ugh, may as well just <laughs> heal up and go to sleep instead. Night vision. Uh, I'm actually glad to be get rid of it because I prefer to see in color. <laughs> it certainly helps me uh, determine how to navigate. All right, we got two ways down from here. Pretty um, simple layout, all things considered. Pretty seen a huge um, chunk of floor four. It's mostly the middle zone and some extra rooms that we have to check up on. Very hungry. No biggie. Let's make ourselves some breakfast. Fine. I shall prepare food here. A feast worthy of a king. I mean, I could also report back to the Night Order, stating, hey, I uh, took care of Roderick. Hmm, sounds like a good idea. I get something out of it. Thou hast redeemed my honor by defeating Roderick. I thank thee from the depths of my soul. Thou art surely as valorous as any of our order. I can now return home to my companions without regret. Ultima Underworld, no regrets. Now I shall check with Big Boss Man if, um, He's gonna give me a pat on the back for uh, defeating Roderick. Thou hast killed the bastard knight who held the north of our home to be his. 
I thank thee for bringing honor back to our order and clearing the villain from our homes. The action thou hast taken has proved that thou art most worthy. Toward thee for thy deeds, I offer thee the standard of honor of the talisman fashioned by Cabiris. My thanks, I am honored indeed to bear it. Dorna turns and emerges through a large iron case, returning Sue with a golden stand which he holds before you. Hear this. Bear with it to honor and remember those who bore it before thee. Honor their memory with thy deeds, for the deeds thou hast already done, honor thee in their memory. I thank thee, and shall take thy words to heart. So now we have the taper and standard with us. Two out of six artifacts. So yeah, plenty more to go, but we're making headway into our uh, grand goal of uh, gotta get them all. Now I just want to check the side of the dungeon. And we're making good progress too, I mean, uh, I'm probably gonna be up for another hour or so, so I think at this rate we can uh, easily close off floor number four tonight, maybe and catch a glimpse of um, level five. Get lost. Challenge impossible. It is absolutely incredible how I keep going completely the opposite way than I'm intending to. Surprisingly, I haven't opened this door yet. It even is in here. Ragged scroll. Of course, it's too heavy. Figures. Trish. I welcome thee to the last bastion of civilization in the Abyss, Traveler. Thou dost relieve my fears, for I thought civilization gone. It has been thy misfortune to travel through the other levels of this wasteland. I am not surprised thou dost think that. However, we still abide by the dreams of Kabiris and the Eight Virtues. I thought all had been in Kabiris' dream. No. We work still to bring about a return to the days of the Abyss glory. There is hope. Yet, if the races of the colony will believe again in the Virtues and each other, Unfortunately, I think there is little hope. Most of the dwellers in this colony have forgotten what little they may once have known about its purpose. Even the most stalwart believers now doubt. No one remembers the virtues anymore. It is a sad situation. Why, several months ago, someone came from above and stole one of the greatest treasures remaining from Caprice's days. What was stolen? We lost many small things. Mostly from storage. All of our torches and lanterns were taken. A few items of food. But mostly light sources, actually. Quite odd. The grave loss was that of the Taper of Sacrifice, though. It was created by Sir Cabers himself and imbued with virtue. We placed it in our shrine where we kept a vigil over it. There it remained lit for three years. But one day a man arrived at one of our guard posts. He ranted and raved, but we let him in, as common courtesy dictates, of course. He started running about and grabbing candles and such, 
We were all too shocked to respond. Then he grabbed the taper itself and ran off. By the time we were in armor and ready to give chase, we had lost him. A tragedy it us. I believe that I have found this taper. It is in my possession, even now? Could thou please show it to me? This whole narrative is essentially uh, your reason to uh, connect the dots to Zack. Very well, here it is. Ah, to see the taper again. This is good indeed. I think you've had a chance to see the taper again. Now that thou hast found it, it is right that thou dost keep it. Thou will find that the light it produces is quite steady, for it continually sacrifices of itself to produce light for thee. Kabir is imbued with virtue, however, and although it consumes itself constantly to provide light, it is continuously punished as well. Basically, it's never gonna run out of juice. I shall keep it then, and keep it safe. Good luck to thee. go back to the main hub Let's start from the beginning climbing up check what's uh, down that way New and unknown opportunities await. Like the chance to fight the slime. And this bat. The eye bleeding bat. There's a whole lot going on in here. What even is this room? Are those lizardmen? Looks like it. Yeah. Hey, what are you guys doing down here? Stranger, greetings. Pika. You speak lizardman tongue. Very good. Many lizardmen will be your friends then. Thank thee, I try my best. How can you help? Who is thy leader? Of Eastleek, you seek. Look in east of our dwellings. Thank thee, I must leave now. Okay, certainly didn't expect uh, you lot to hang around here. Then again, you have the best chance of survival because you can actually communicate with. Other folk. Ooh. What do we got here? Hmm. Alright. Do it the old fashioned way. Diary of Asir who was embarking on a troll watching journey. I don't know if I'm gonna need that, but. I'll keep it in memory. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine runes missing. We should be able to get them in no time. There's a Lizardman colony here, if uh, you are any indication. There's a staircase leading up. Ooh, that 
might be near um, your outpost above. Now to think about it. Yeah, that would make sense for one of their watchmen to patrol the area. Door is locked. Smell a storeroom. Well, hmm, that one worked, which strangely enough also opens. The storerooms on the floor above us. Weird. I guess this counts as a fishing spot. But still, for it to be exclusively shut behind the door it's a little weird hey maybe that's where the most uh, valuable fish swim it's gonna be another garage uh, dream adventure scenario where I have to go between specific ponds look for a uh, the biggest catch of them all. Now we can go past the trolls and investigate the other side of uh, the labyrinth. That is a hostile. We've heard of the dark trolls where here's one. You're lucky I don't have inventory space, or else the chicken leg would be mine. No worries, we can leave it to marinate on the ground. A little more, just uh, soak in the dirt. It's sure to add extra flavor. Alright, that's, uh, that's the bone zone down there. And we have a headless rave over here. Oh joy. Welcome to the headless storeroom. say this jeweled sword kicks ass it hits hard and has amazing swing speed Some pretty quick work at these uh, freak shows. 
Not to mention, this is going to be a lot of XP. For killing uh, all of these mobs. And all they were guarding was a leather cap. Wonderful. Well, I suppose um, our next step is going to be jumping down the skeleton marsh pit. Problem at all. Ooh. Okay. Three switches. I think I know what you're supposed to do here. You cannot reach that. Um. Oh, this is a bit of interesting platforming in item usage. Love that just to fight some Bone Brothers. Yeah, we had fun. Anyway, trolls. It's not a big compartment, but. Might be a few of them looking around. Oh, yep, here comes one. Does pick a punch. Well, we found the loot room, which is cool. I didn't really need, though. Is that everything there is here? 
Yeah, I think so. So we got the mini dark troll area under control. Which means, uh, yeah, we pretty much got everything down. There's only this chest here, which we never found a key for. Which uh, is a little uh, concerning, but maybe the deeper we go, it will become uh, more clear to us. Regardless, no harm in traveling. Yet another flight of stairs down. affect my hit rate right? because I am doing horrible right now. inducing mobs in the game guard personal only I mean who's gonna stop me probably whatever is behind the door but yeah, well, I only know once we enter Mark one first. Well, what didn't you know? Even more of you, uh, pests. I can already tell this is going to be a lot of running back and forth. Not to mention the resting, just so we can get rid of poison and heal up.
Sure, it might be a little slow, the progression, but hey, it's keeping me alive. Oh, I see. So these mimic the staircases you would be uh, coming down from both ends. person only so it's indeed a very symmetrical layout and also interestingly has the same enemies on both ends I wonder how much of a mirror image this level turns out to be of the Civil Serpent, High State Chamber. Well, whatever lies ahead, we are unfamiliar with that banner. We don't know what to anticipate as we head further on. There's plenty of monsters. really scare me all that much anymore. I've gotten used to fighting headless, for one. Second of all, we got the gear and experience to carry us. sort of grand hall and there is a pouch Ooh. where did you come from oh guy got me with a sneak attack Picking locks with billing. Ah, I'm gonna tell you. And the flute. have the room for that, do we? Hmm.
by the looks of it. This region is going to be more combat oriented. Unless we find an outpost of some sort. Chances are there's not going to be many uh, friendly faces. Ooh. Lava. It's a guy. Just, uh... Just minding his business in that... Island. I would like to get over some kind of bridge. To chat with him. We can do this. Because I am a little uh, worried about jumping. Let's try it. Hail thee, stranger. Judy. As you approach, the old woman looks up and squints. She is obviously nearsighted. Tom, she says. Is it D? The hope in her eyes dies as she sees your face. Ooh, we do remember a uh, marking earlier on level 3 saying Tom loves Judy. Uh, good day to the old mother. Forgive me. I just be an old fool. Who is Tom? Ah, Tom. He was me Tommy boy. Gone he is. And now only I am left. Never more shall see his face, this side of paradise. Not even able to remember it. Not at all. Has there nothing to remember him by? I had me a picture once, but it's lost now. Ah, me Tom. Such a bonny lad I never knew. If I should find it, I should return it thee. Wouldst thou? Ah, they're very kind. Bless thee. Blessings upon thee also, old mother. Quest obtained. Find a picture of Tom. I find it baffling that you've made yourself hidey hole behind this uh, moat of love what is that a cool well that's new on the enemy list and um I am now even more surprised by your ability to survive. Yeah, you gotta wonder how did she get on the other side. That's right, good old IBM Supreme Computer Model and also Healing Spell. Also, what's up, Ababil? Thank you for the follow, by the way. So now we know that Judy resides over here. We can uh, make a marking. Kind of an interesting uh, key shaped layout this is going for. 
starting from here. Oh yeah, evidently you want to be careful with your footing down here. Uncork my needles, great blows to undead. Nothing like bopping your head into the ceiling. Oh dear. Okay. This might be it for me. Yep. Once you fall down, you're grilled meat. Uh, unfortunately, the answer to your question, Ababel, is um, quite straightforward, really, because it's EA. They just don't care anymore. To them, Ultima is just... Um, online which is handled by a small studio to keep it alive as long as possible with little investment they will pretend they care about the vast library of ips they get on the hold but as you might know recently after many years of development American McGee put out his uh, development bible for Alice Asylum, like an unofficial third installment which they wanted to pitch with EA, but they just skimmed through it and they were like, no. Not only we're not going to give you the IP back, but we're not even gonna publish any game you would develop under our helm because we care too much about the good name of Alice, which is exactly why we're gonna keep it shut in the vault forever. And uh, you could see the glimmer of hope just banish from his eyes as he was relaying the message back to uh, the Kickstarter fans. It's tragic. The plaque reads, my dispatch chamber, and they're only in presence of dispatch operator. Well, good thing I can't read. Because otherwise, uh, I wouldn't be able to um, enter. Teleport door lock. Mind dispatch operators only. Teleport door control. You know, Ultima, on the other hand, is. A very interesting tale upon itself because even though uh, the mainline games pretty much ended with nine, there have been attempts to make spiritual successors. Because on the one hand, you have this, which was made by Looking Glass Studios a couple of years ago, I think 2018. And it's Ultima Underworld in terms of gameplay and general feel, but without the story. And uh, I won't be able to tell you how that uh, turned around because I've only skim through the reviews and apparently it's a mixed bag which I find unsurprising 
I'm very cautious about anything that claims to be a spiritual successor to an existing IP, because when you nail it down the first time, trying to fit in the same shoes can be uh, nigh impossible. Now, on the other hand, this spin-off wasn't the only Ultima-related um, branch of. This was made by Richard Garrett himself after he left um, Origin. It's a weird attempt at making a Ultima 9 single player slash multiplayer hybrid. And the thing about that is, uh, it turned out to be messy in terms of execution. Because if you look through the fan reception, they're like, well, Richard Garrett himself didn't quite know what to do with this because he tried to get the best of both worlds, but it proved to be impossible and just uh, end up creating chaos, if anything. Still arguably better than probably what he's trying to accomplish these days, which is allegedly he's working on a video game that's going to be using NFTs. How the mighty have fallen. Alright, so we got this puzzle centered around teleporters, which uh, I'm going to mark here for reference. You know, if Microsoft didn't go for Blizzard slash Activision, EA would have probably been the next logical step. Like, imagine just how much, um, just how much control they would have over IPs alone. Like the gaming library they would acquire from. Uh, such a takeover would be massive. EA has been effectively consuming many small studios over the years and just hoarding and hoarding uh, franchises. Which, again, they do do anything about besides the occasional here, let's make a quick buck off of this product, like Dungeon Keeper Mobile, which uh it pains me. They are literally my arch nemesis in the video game industry. Yeah, there are many studios out there that deserve getting shat on, but EA to me is like the devil incarnate. Level 13, let's go. Once I hit under shrine, we shall duly live up our abilities. Alright, 
Where do we go here? Oh. The magical scroll that I just wasted. Because um, sometimes they use the same um, sprite. It's just uh, information scrolls, so... It's a case of trial and error, determining which is which. Ooh. I was wondering who was making that racket. We got a ghost rave going on here. So I can slice through, yeah? Ooh. Well, that's an unusual drop. So I didn't expect uh, literature. Stuff. What to do after mole? Another incantation you can use to uh, buff your abilities. Of the uh, cloak and dagger kind, mind you. The plaque reads Shrine of the Virtues. Now, isn't that convenient? Just the place I was looking for. PC. Let's talk to him. Andrew. Greetings, traveler. What brings you to an area of the abyss as perilous as this? Art thou upon a quest, as I myself am? What is thy quest? Many years ago, I began research into methods for turning lower metals into gold. During the course of my research, I discovered a new and better method that depends on a particular very rare substance. I quest to find more of this substance. Why is the method so much better? When I started, existing methods required a great many reagents to operate, and could produce only a fraction of an ounce of gold for each pound of lower metal. The new method requires a much smaller quantity of reagents and produces much more gold. However, the principal reagent is rare, and I have been able to locate only trace amounts of it. Tell me of the substance. It is a blue rock-like mineral called Xanium. The only samples I have found have been on this floor of the abyss in tunnels with rough hewn walls. I believe there is a mining area to the southwest where there may be larger deposits, but I cannot gain access to it. Uh, that's because it's locked behind teleporters. How is this mineral collected? Xanium has the property of being self attractive. Deposits near the surface can be collected merely by walking over them while carrying a sample. In an underground environment such as this, it is. If there is Xanium present, there is likely to be some near the surface. Thus, in a sense, it is collected automatically. Tell me of this mining area. I do not know much. There is a small room in the southwestern region that is labeled Mine Dispatch Chamber. There appear to be some controls, but I know not how to operate them. Is there anyone who will know about the controls? Now that thou dost mention it, yes, there is one who may know something. One of those frightful ghouls in the catacombs used to be four men in the mining sector. No ghoul has spoken to me since I killed one of them in self-defense. Perhaps they could assist me. You want me to talk to the undead? Uh, problem. You say you killed one in self-defense. I kinda did that too, so <laughs> we're in the same boat here, pal. What assistance dost thou need? If thou could talk to the minor ghoul and discover how to operate the dispatch chamber, I would be most grateful. 
In addition, if that was entered the mining area, brave its dangers and collect at least 80 samples of Xenium. I would reward thee with large gold nugget created from lead. Uh, I should get the information about the controls. I thank thee kindly. Speak to me after thou hast obtained the pertinent information. Farewell. Or I can get the Xenium. Wouldst thou? Thou art indeed a kind soul. Take this small sample, carry it through the mine, and it shall attract more of its kind. Casting in mana. X attack in unarmed. X unarmed defense. Mana and lore. Casting and lore. Attack, sword, and missile. And. Or magic, I would say. Well, can't do anything else, so. So we have to do. Alright. Got another mission to accomplish. Uh, shrine. Right, so these two doors I haven't been to yet. Appears to be something down here as well, and halfway to the right, so either of these will likely take me to the ghouls. Well, here's the thing, uh, not really. With Ultima, like I just pointed out, it's pretty much uh, gone to quote unquote spiritual successors which um, had very mixed reception so more than likely nothing will be done about it as far as other properties that EA has a hold on I know that one of the, the original developers for Syndicate made a game called Satellite Rain which is pretty close to the original in terms of feel and gameplay and it looks quite interesting so if you're into that you can give it a try a friend of mine also uh, gave it some pretty strong praise so definitely should give it a go sometime my biggest regret is that uh, we won't have a Dungeon Keeper revival of any sort. That's like the one game that's honestly missing something to fill the void. down pretty much a smart uh, staircases that lead downwards so it's a little easier to uh, orient myself Alright, that just leaves these two doors. Do 
seem to circle around the grand hall we went to not long ago. Also, this explains the uh, rotworm that fell on me earlier. explain where the ghouls are. Uh, this might be a doorway that you missed. Because otherwise, um, besides the teleportation chamber, I don't really have anywhere else to go. Uh, assuming there's nothing else to this place. friend mentioned to us a um, floor above so let me check the combination I have a separate document northwest southeast northeast southwest Points to north this way. Northwest. Southeast. Uh, northeast. Southwest. No. We get jump scared by the spell fizzling.
to their natural order. Getting really confused because um, I don't know what point of reference to use the directions. This is uh, fun. You need to hug the walls as you pull the lever because walking too close to the middle of the room will reset the puzzle. See, I fear that going too close will hurt you, but not actually reset the puzzle. circling around so northwest southeast East and this one. Ooh. There you go. Not even a sound effect, huh? You see a perfect iron ring. Well, that would be the ring of humility. Free talismans down. Magical server ring. We don't know what that does even, but it's magical, so I'm gonna keep it on me. Just because. that I've got more or less uh, everything uncovered besides figuring out where the ghouls are my other only guess is that there's somewhere beyond the lava 
because I don't imagine you only talk to them after doing the teleport room. she wasn't either is because those are technically the friendlier ghouls. You say that as one of them tried to nibble my face off. Just straight up leads to teleports. It's like nothing beyond here. Well, maybe I have to go to a different floor to talk to the ghouls. I think there's another way to uh, get to this place. Just look at a complete map, but there is way more to see this side. We just don't know how to get here. But I am assuming that we have to go an extra level down and then find an alternate staircase leading up to the other side. So we can't quite uh, do everything that the game asked me to from here. Instead, we have to uh, travel down further and look beyond. I think I'm gonna actually leave it here for tonight because we have put a good dent into uh, Ultima Underworld tonight. And it seems like uh, I want to have more time for further exploration just so that we don't cut it off uh, abruptly. So yeah, uh, thanks for joining me tonight. We not only managed to uh, cut back our losses from uh, the previous Clap Prefu, but we are now further on ahead than we uh, went on the original playthrough. I think I'm gonna be back tomorrow with another stream and uh, we're gonna finish off Nightmare Reaper. 
I've put that on hold for too long. But, you know, I wanted to make sure that not only this um, alternate version of Ultima Underworld worked just fine, but we didn't encounter any uh, game-breaking glitches, which so far seems to be the case. It is proceeding steadily and without issues. So, fingers crossed, that's going to be the theme to the very end. So, um, yeah, thanks for hanging around. Thanks for all the new followers. And until next time, guys, take it easy.